Hi everyone, just to show you the new way that iPhones have started to treat zip files. This is still the easiest way to get all of the downloads onto your phone. I'm going to assume that you've got something called Evermusic, which is what we've advised you use before. Evermusic looks like that. There's Herbie also. So, this is how you get a zip file onto your phone to get all of the music straight onto an iPhone. First of all, select your zip file, and it will ask you if you want to download the zip file. So hit the download button, and you'll see iPhones now have this download arrow in the top corner, and you can see the progress bars going across. You can also touch that, and you can see the progress is going across like that. This obviously takes a little bit of a second, because the zip files are quite big files. They've got the piano tracks <clears throat> and all of your individual parts and the full mixes all in one go. So they're all going to arrive together onto your phone rather than you having to do them separately. You can do them separately if you really wish to. That's what's further down the page. But um, this is by far the quickest process. So we'll just let that go all the way across. Make yourself a cuppa if you so desire. And once that's finished... It's going to arrive in an app that your iPhone will automatically have called Files. You see that there? I've put it next to Ever Music for the purpose of this demonstration. So somewhere on your phone, that's an automatic app that your iPhone will have. It also, uh, you might see it referred to as iCloud Drive. It's a little folder for downloads that your uh, phone will have. So it will arrive in there. Can you see how that's done that? Don't worry about if it says anything waiting to upload or anything like that. So there is the zip file that we've just downloaded there. So the next thing you're going to do, we're nearly there, is you're going to go into this Ever Music app, which we recommend. And in Ever Music, you're going, you need to be on the tab at the bottom that says Connect, because this is, gives you the option to connect it to other places that files could be. And when you're in the Connect folder, You'll see iCloud Drive there, listed as one of the applications. Select iCloud Drive. It's hard to do this with two hands. And there it is. There's the zip file. Touch the zip file. And you'll see it says Processing. And there it is. There is a zip file, but you don't need to worry about that anymore. So you could delete this yellow one if you wanted to by hitting edit and deleting it. But you'll see there is the folder with all of the tracks in, and there they all are. So I selected the A1 zip file so that the A1 tracks are there, the full mix is in there, and the piano tracks are there, which is just piano for all of the songs. And that is you sorted. Have fun, guys.